two on my shoulder, three on my elbow, and now on my feet. Oh my gosh. Two on my wrist and two. I started volunteering here at Highline at the beginning of the second semester. I learned from the principal that they have a challenge getting very many volunteers to come in. Hmm? Is it a holiday? Yeah, which, which holiday? The teachers need even more support, and I love being able to be that consistent support because they know what they're getting when I come in, and they know what I can do with the kids, and they, most of the kids are comfortable with me. They are now telling me when they've lost a tooth. They're telling me um, whether they got to take a book home and read it. They're telling me when they had a birthday or that they're going to have a birthday. From the rain, you do the same thing that Lazy Jane does? The Highline Elementary School is not in my director district, so I don't see these families at the grocery store or, you know, at the athletic events unless I come over here. Um, so I, it helps me get to know this community. We talk about having to learn every single day. And it is so inspiring to see these teachers turn everything into a lesson. You know, even a silly poem about being sick in bed. It would be really fun to just read the poem and leave it at that. But there are so many chances to connect with the kids. You heard one kid um, connect it to another poem they had read. Um, the kids knew the author. They knew they got to talk about fiction versus nonfiction. They had so many lessons in this poem that made them all giggle. So, you know, how great is that? I love it. I love it. I love it so much that I brought my own kids mm -hmm. to volunteer. They loved it. I think it'll be really neat to watch these kids grow up because I'm sure that um, I will continue this relationship with as many of them as I can. Why would he do that? He has to act out. Yeah, okay, so go ahead. I have a bad